After Ray escapes, he goes to Chicago and has a rendezvous with his brothers, Jerry and, and John. The Rays were pretty tight. They all were involved in petty crimes of one sort or another. And they trusted each other. And they talk about what they're going to do. They talk about the porn business. Ray's kind of interested in, in, in porno. He thinks there's money to be made there. They also talk about kidnapping as a possible way to make some money and various other low-life schemes. But then finally, the subject of Martin Luther King comes up. For Ray, um, yeah, he, he doesn't like King, but, but the main thing is there's money to be made. He feels confident that he can connect with the right individuals and that this is a way that he can, as a free man, finally make a living. The brothers were a little bit taken aback by that. Um, too big an operation, too ambitious, too dangerous, too risky. But it was in keeping with Ray's personality. In the family lore, in the family mythology, James was the smart one, he was the ambitious one. He was the one that was gonna do big things.